How to estimate the distance of a lightning? The flash to bang method is a simple technique used to estimate the distance of a lightning strike by measuring the time interval between seeing the lightning flash and hearing the associated thunder. Let's break down the flash to bang method step by step. When you see a flash of lightning, it means a lightning bolt has struck somewhere nearby. It's crucial to spot this flash as soon as possible to start the timing process. As soon as you see the lightning flash, start counting seconds. Use a watch or count 1 second, 2 seconds, 3 seconds and so on. This counting represents the time it takes for the sound of thunder to reach your location after the lightning flash. Keep counting until you hear the sound of thunder. Thunder usually follows a lightning flash after a short delay. When you hear the thunder, stop counting immediately. Once you've stopped counting, take note of the number of seconds you counted. Now, you'll use this number to estimate the distance to the lightning strike. We all know that sound travels through the air at a certain speed, known as the speed of sound. In dry air at room temperature, the speed of sound is approximately 343 meters per second, which is about 1,125 feet per second. This speed varies depending on factors like temperature and humidity, but for simplicity, we'll use this average value. To estimate the distance to the lightning strike, multiply the number of seconds you counted by the speed of sound. This calculation gives you the approximate distance in meters, or feet, from your location to the lightning strike. For instance, you're outside enjoying a sunny day when suddenly you see a flash of lightning. You immediately start counting seconds. You count 1 second, 2 seconds, 3 seconds. Until you hear the thunder. You count a total of 10 seconds before you hear the thunder. Now, you'll use the speed of sound, which is 343 meters per second, to estimate the distance. Distance equals time times speed of sound, which is 10 seconds times 343 meters slash second, and we can get 3,430 meters, or about 3.43 kilometers. So, based on the flash to bang method, the lightning strike occurred approximately 3.43 kilometers away from your location. While using the flash to bang method can help you estimate the distance to a lightning strike, it's essential to prioritize safety during thunderstorms. Do not stand in open fields, near tall objects, or under isolated trees during a thunderstorm. These locations increase the risk of being struck by lightning. Wait at least 30 minutes after the last clap of thunder before resuming outdoor activities. This allows the storm to pass safely. In conclusion, the flash to bang method is a valuable tool for estimating the distance to a lightning strike and gauging the proximity of an approaching thunderstorm. Remember to prioritize safety and seek shelter indoors whenever thunderstorms are nearby. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, please hit the like button or subscribe button for more interesting topics.